Hello and welcome back to this edition of Bayou Time. Again, your host, Keith Weissheit, Licensed Clinical Social Worker with Job One Home Care. Very glad you're joining us. However, you may be joining us, we appreciate it. And you know, I always love talking to people who are just making things happen. One of the more people uh, doing that with Bayou Community Foundation, Ms. Jennifer Armand. Jennifer, thanks for joining us again. Oh, thank you, Keith. Uh, and you guys are just so busy making a difference and finding ways to help. It's just exciting. Yes, it is. It is. Every day uh, is a wonderful, rewarding day for us at Bayou Community Foundation because we're working hard to fill critical needs in yeah. LaCouche, Terrebonne, and Grand Isle. And we are blessed with amazing donors and partners who are helping us make that happen. Right. And y'all partner with other people to be able to kind yes. of get those things going and moving. But let's talk a little bit about this competitive grant, because this is one of the ways that people can get what they need. Yes, exactly. So um, Bayou Community Foundation started in 2012, offering uh, nonprofits a, an opportunity to receive funding for critical programs um, that help our community in human services, education, workforce development, um, et cetera. And over the past um, 11 years now, we have awarded over $2.3 million and over 400 grants to local nonprofits. Wow. It has been an amazing program and we have been really able to make an impact on some of those very critical needs in our area through the wonderful work of our local nonprofits. And our 2024 grants program is opening or has opened right. and uh, we are accepting initial grant requests from local nonprofits now okay. Okay. for the program this year. And that's going to continue through March 1st. Yes, March 1st is the deadline. Okay. Uh, we invite nonprofits working in Lafouche, Terrebonne and Grand Isle to check out our program online at bayoucf.org and apply. The application is available online through our online grants portal. Um, and we have a few eligibility requirements. Okay. The nonprofit must have been operating, serving our area for at least a year on March 1st. And we also ask that the program that they are requesting money for is addressing a critical need and they need to explain what that need is. Gotcha. This year we are focusing um, as many grants as we can on programs that, that serve three of the high level priorities identified in our needs assessment this past fall. Okay. Bayou Community Foundation those? conducted a community needs assessment. We identified um, housing and that's housing, not only housing recovery, which we know is still a big need, but housing right. affordability and availability right. as our one of our top needs. Second top need, um, something I know that you are aware of is mental health and substance use disorder. Yep. treatment and counseling services. And the third in our high priority needs is of course, uh, food insecurity. Right. And our local food banks are really doing a good job addressing that need as much as they can. But yes. of course there still are gaps. Right, right. Uh, and again, the, the, the process is to, to go to the Bayou uh, um, Community Foundation, byucf.org. Right. And again, Aaron, put that back up one more time because I want people to kind of see how easy this is. Yes. You go to the nonprofit grants program. It's open. You can apply right there. Scroll down for me if you don't mind, Aaron, a little bit. And you just review what the, the eligibility is, uh, what the description is. It tells you what to do. It lets you follow that. And again, like we, we mentioned, you've got to, the guidelines are you have to be in existence and serve in our area for more than a year and that you're addressing a critical need. And the big focus this year in 2024, uh, the three top priorities are housing, uh, either affordability or availability, mental health, and substance use disorders and food insecurity. And so very easy to navigate. I I'm going to do it myself. I'm so fortunate to work uh, with the Bayou Region's Alzheimer's Services. Mm -hmm. And, and the, the, you know, it's interesting. It's just one of those areas where we see uh, these dementia patients that really need a great deal of help. They need a lot of sitting help that's not available or paid for anywhere. Right. Uh, and so it's well, the only way they can stay in their homes or get the food that they need is for somebody to help them. Right. And so it's just exactly. one of those things where so you bring up that the question about where's that need and, and just kind of seeing that. And I love the fact that y'all partner with so many different organizations mm -hmm. and provide these grants. It's amazing to be able to give away that much money uh, with such kind donors. Yes, right? it is. To it be is. able to provide 
about one, these grants. One little twist this year is um, in the past, we've suggested that grant request uh, averaged $10,000 or right. so. This right. year, we've increased that cap and are accepting requests up to $20,000. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Wow. And um, we expect to award probably about between three hundred twenty dollars and $350,000 this year um, wow. for these grants and but, that'll be in july when we yeah, make right, the announcement right everything yeah. i remember that uh july is <laughs> kind of when the, the money's come yes. uh and, and are able to give out and so it's just so very nice to be able to see i love the fact that you guys are always asking the tough question where's the need mm -hmm. what what do people really need not just what you think you need right where's the real need and i love that y'all are kind of able to strip it down and see because we're, we're, we're looking at those issues we know that our mental health uh, systems have been depleted with fi uh, funding over the mm -hmm, years mm -hmm. we know that substance use and dis and abuse programs have kind of uh, been lost in the shuffle some uh, and we know the housing issues that people are having right. uh, and i just i appreciate the fact that we're always looking at you know, food insecurity used to not be a thing but it is. It is. It is. And, and so, growing, particularly among senior see, citizens and children. children. It's that, that area that yes. we just see. Uh, and again, that's, that should be disturbing to us. Yes. It's disturbing enough that we're going to make a difference. Right. And the fact that you're partnering with people who do. Jennifer, thanks so much for being able to oh, do this you, and, and what you do. We, we appreciate it. And I love all of the work that y'all do. We only see you come on and talk about uh, being able to raise some money, give some money away <laughs> and help. But we know how much work that goes into evaluating, assessing, and being able to figure out what the need yes. is. There is we a lot of work. Thank right. you very much. Yes, absolutely. All right. And that'll do it for this particular segment. Don't go anywhere. A lot more Bayou time when we continue.